welcome to another edition of Gloucester Library's Craft Challenge. Today we're going to be making clothespin flowers. So the first thing you need are some clothespins. Then you need some markers, permanent markers. Um, I have Sharpies. If you want to add to the decorations, you can use some paint. So you need paint and a paintbrush. For the center of the flower, I'm using a mason jar lid. Um, if you don't have any of those around the house, maybe a plastic lid to something would work. For the stem of the flower, I'm using a wooden skewer. Um, if you don't have any of those around the house, something uh, maybe like a paintbrush. And then to seal it against the weather, you need some glue or some Mod Podge. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is decorate your clothespins. So I just took my Sharpie and just colored the front of it. Very easy. Um, what you can do, like I said, if you wanna add to it, you could add some paint decorations on it, or you could do the whole thing in paint. Totally up to you, it's your project. Then once you have them decorated, you're gonna take your center, which I also colored um, with a Sharpie and put some paint on it. So you simply, when these are dry, you simply just put them right around the lid, just clamping them on. Very easy. And once you have them all around, and you have them in the spot that you want, you need your stem. And so I'm gonna use the pointy end to put into the ground. So what I'm gonna do is just slide it and clip it with the clothespin. You can play around with it till you get it to where you want it. And there's your flower. Let me show you the one that I already made and decorated. Here you go. Um, like I said, I used Sharpie and I added some dots with paint. I just used Sharpie on the skewer. So you need to seal it against the weather. So I mentioned the glue. If you take one part of glue and three parts of water, mix it up, and then you just need a paintbrush and you just paint it on and let it dry and that will seal it. Um, or if you have some Mod Podge, that works really well. And this is outdoor Mod Podge, and you just paint that on. So, there's our craft for this week. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Gloucester Library's Craft Challenge.